All right. What up, Robin Williams' Spectre? Uh, we're going to shoot on Jamarcus Russell and Tom Brady. And the idea of who had the right idea. So, try to make this kind of quick. But I do have a lot of thoughts on this all of a sudden. If you're... Let's start with... Uh, Let's we'll start with Brady, okay? Spoiler alert, he's the runner-up in my, um, at the end of my hypothesis. So, well, the runner-up in the Jamarcus Russell versus Tom Brady discussion that I, that's not a discussion, oh, unless you're talking about betwixt the two personalities in my head. So, the runner-up, Tom Brady. So, you're drafted 199th. You are so far from Mel Kuyper's radar that uh, you might as well be uh, a 2020 F-22 in the clouds 15 miles away. Uh, that's that's you, Tom Brady. And Mel Kuyper is a Soviet or a MiG. So the radar is not even, not even, you know, literally not a blip. And... So, but you're at a big, like, big school. Um, <laughs> he looks so awesome on his draft day pictures, by the way. Uh, it's rad. He ran, like, a freaking 9-2-40. Uh, but, yeah, he, was, he went to Michigan. And, you know, he still had a big arm. And, um, obviously, we're talking we're talking about Tom Brady, like, where, where he ended up. But, um, so, anyways, you get drafted 199th. I think it was the... Last or second to last pick. I think, what was it? The last pick of the 2001 draft or something. Sixth round. Last pick. Uh, and then win seven Super Bowls. So he would have played something. 20, 20 or 21 complete seasons. Seven of which uh, resulted in Super Bowls. He lost a couple other ones. Which means he won a, you know, won a few AFC championships. Been in the big game. Oh yeah. I'm talking to you guys like you don't know who fucking Tom Brady is. Okay, so it's admirable and it's um, quote unquote like successful that he did twenty one seasons, and you know as a one ninety nine draft pick. So his like like it. I'm trying to think of how to best succinctly describe what I'm thinking. Um, at what point are you like a cyborg when you're? Let's say after his 35th birthday and say he had five Super Bowls or four, whatever. He had four Super Bowls. He's thir like 35. And here's the, this is the crux of the argument. Let's pay attention here. He's married to Giselle Bunchen, who is probably at that point like worth more than him. At that time, they were probably worth together literally like 750 fucking million dollars. Um, And you have to have like, you know, let's see, 2016-ish, like, you have to uh, smell James Harrison or Terrell Suggs, uh, you know, every year in freaking playoffs. Like, how baller is that for one? On one hand, so right. I mean, that is crazy. If you have a six-foot-two Brazilian supermodel wife or what, you know what I mean, and $750 million and enough rings to fill up at least, you know, all your fingers on one hand, maybe even the thumb, right? Like, why Why are you still doing this, okay? And I think this is where I'm, just because so few people are wired like that, like, he might be, you know what I mean? At some point, you're wired like a cyborg. Like, it's cr the competitive nature um, and, the like, the drive is... So admirable, so rare. Um, Tiger Woods would be, you know, maybe even a better example, right? If you're worth like 550, well, no, 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 you know, fuck that. It's not a better example because what Tom Brady does is so much more dangerous. So that's, you know, you're playing NFL football at a time when, um, you know, it, the game has gotten really, really fast. So they keep whipsawing the rules around and stuff. And I, I've lost a lot of interest in the game because it's, almost too fast for me and the rules like the rules to protect players are necessary and that that part of it 
I get why they're doing it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's like being a quarterback at 35 years old, if you're, uh, I don't know, trying to think of even like a good example if, if this was the late 80s and uh like you know just think about jeff hostetler uh or dave craig like they you know i know inflation adjusted you know means something obviously but um let's say that you know adjusted for inflation a guy like that might a quarterback like that might be making in 1988 i don't know eight hundred thousand dollars a year to, uh sorry that would have been like eight hundred thousand dollars a year and maybe like 87 money for a good backup but Inflation adjusted, uh, let's say that's 1.6, 1.8, uh, you know, and that's, I think that's probably on the high end. Now, you, you can, you know, if you're 35 and that's, you know, you, you, I think one would assume you continue to make a little bit more money, you know, you would, you would, uh, be, be paid, compensated more each contract that you earn unless you stick around too long and, you know, you have you know, but that's, I mean, even that's rare. So, anyways, let's say Jeff Hosteller made a inflation adjusted like 1.6 million in 1988, 1990, 91, whatever. Um, like, again, kind of polar opposites, but I mean, the a backup quarterback, a clipboard carrying guy wearing a visor right out of college, you know, his rookie contract, he's probably getting like, God, I don't even know, but it's, you know, relative and inflation adjusted, it's, this is a guy who's never played it down and is 22, is getting two and a half million or something, you know, maybe more. And guys, uh, like Tom Brady in his last season was making, what did he sign for, one year with the Bucks for 35 million, something like that. So he's making two over $2 million per start which is incredible, like that's obscene, good for him. But if if you're 42, 40, 43, and you already have a billion dollars now, a billion fucking dollars, why are you still doing it? Because you're a cyborg. Now, when we come back from these commercial breaks from Megan Meow staying, we will reveal the number one. Hi, my name is Megan, and I sell Greg's shoes on eBay without him knowing it. Check out the New Balance selection. If you wear a size 11 and a half to 13, we always have something in stock for you. Those New Balance Venom Cobras are pretty legit. Um, I think that Tomax and Zamot both wore them in the 84 Olympics when they competed in... Um, crossbowing other athletes to death and we're back this guy's pretty fast for a caucasian i love that the uh what is it it's not a renault what was the other little french car i think it's not citroen it might be a renault but that was Le pal that he has to um robin williams's ghost has to borrow to go bang this chick because like you know he doesn't want the roughnecks on that rig to spot him or something. Not like anybody can see, Robin. You're dead. Look at that Chester. Good lord. Nobody manscaped in uh, 1985. You imagine what that chick's bush looks like. I'm kind of into it. Everybody smoked even indoors. Um, so our number one pick uh, of who had the better idea is Jamarcus Russell. So wrap this up quick. Keep it under 10 minutes. Um, I'm not going to promise that because Jamarcus Russell deserves more time. If you're Jamarcus Russell, you went to LSU, you partied your dick in the ground, you can throw a football 80 yards from your knees. Number one pick to a the lunatic... Al Davis and the, I don't know, were they Oakland? It was the Oakland Raiders when he was drafted. I don't know where they play now. I think they play in, uh, where do they play now? Johannesburg? The Diamond Raiders? 
the Johannesburg Apartheid Raiders. Um, they give you, you negotiate, your agent negotiates a $60 million guaranteed uh, nut for you in your rookie contract. And you didn't have to get sacked or smell warm sap or watch a film or sweat or go to a knee doctor or read about uh, all the people talking shit on you for throwing four picks in a bad game like on Monday. I don't think Jamar Stressel did all that much reading. I know he didn't do much film study, but that's why he's number one. Dude just got to kick it with $60 million and won't have CTE. He'll be able to get out of bed. He gets to enjoy his, like, the he was, you know, $60 million and out of the league by the time he was, like, 26 or something. That is uh, S tier. And, look, I mean, this is just off the cuff. I mean, I think it's funny. I think it's interesting, so... I hope you guys find it funny, um, you know, how, uh, how extreme I take some of these examples is, because laughing is, is a good thing, but, um, it is, it, I mean, I'm, like, kind of serious, you know what I mean? So that shows what kind of person I am. I'm, like, you know, I don't really necessarily want to do nothing, you know what I mean? I think Jamar Stressel did a lot of that. I think he kind of, re like, retired by uh like sort of by design but not necessarily like he was the one making the call like he i think he just you know failed to get a contract extension which you know just out of the league so but he had retired three weeks into training camp at, at, before he took a snap um as an nfler so that's you know it's <laughs> yeah it's, i guess that's kind of a criminal thing to do right so it's you, you, you would have a hard time sleeping at night, you know, if you were just, had that much responsibility and people were counting on you and, and thought so highly of you to, uh, to bestow upon you that much wealth and, um, responsibility and stuff. And then just literally just eat Wendy's cheeseburgers. I love the story where, um, his coaches sent him home, uh, DVDs of the game plan and uh they were blank and then the next day when he showed up two 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 hours and 15 minutes late um you know wearing still wearing his pajamas uh he's like oh guys i love the game plan <laughs> and it <laughs> and the, the coaches had given him blank dvds uh so, yeah, I mean, if you have any kind of conscientiousness to dial it in, not even dial it in, just the lack of effort there is so crazy um, when you just strip it down to just that fact. Now, think about uh, being 23 and somebody, get, like, you know there's nothing. There's You cannot fuck up. There's nothing you can do. You can't fuck up hard enough to be guaranteed any less than 60 million U.S. dollars. Uh, yeah, a lot of us would go that route. Not that he... Not that Jamarcus Russell knew any of the 2007 Oakland Raiders routes because he watched blank DVDs. And um, he would eat like... Ten, went, I, see, this maybe, maybe this is why I'm biased towards Jamarcus because he was a Wendy's guy. Wendy's is the dopest. But he would eat think about it. The guy was two, like two six 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 two forty five at LSU. And so part of his problem was his weight. But he a guy like that, I mean, I spent twenty five dollars at Wendy's. You know? So a guy like that, he would eat ten uh like juniors. That's this and this guy's a <laughs> your starting quarterback but yeah he would eat 10 wendy's juniors while watching blank dvds 
um, and he could not get his pay docked. Or you can be on the other end of the spectrum and be Tom Brady be worth a billion dollars married to a, a supermodel and at 43, you know, go out there and just, uh, why? Like, well, you know what I mean? So he's a cyborg. Uh, that's actually, see, well, that's actually what Jamarcus Russell is driving now. It's the car from the best of times. 79 Renault. Lay Powell, but uh, yeah, so who's right? I don't know. Comment below, like and subscribe, and read your Quran. Praise be to Allah.